And so did Mr Edward Heath, another Conservative Prime Minister, many years later, after he had had a major row with the trade unions in the 1970s. The Conservatives then chose Mrs Thatcher as their leader, and in 1979 she became the first woman Prime Minister in Britain's history, and she won a general election again in 1983, when the Conservatives got more seats in Parliament than Labour. And some people think that because she had so many people supporting her then, Mrs Thatcher became perhaps a bit bossy, and wasn't as interested as she might have been in things like hospitals and schools and jobs. And she certainly had arguments with some of her top ministers, and a big row with Mr Michael Heseltine, who finally refused to work closely with her anymore. But Mrs Thatcher has made big changes in the way that people now live in this country. And she's almost as well known abroad as she is in Britain. She's a friend of President Reagan, who she's visited several times in America. And she went to Moscow a few months ago for long talks there with the Soviet leader, Mr Gorbachev. And so Mrs Thatcher now hopes to become Prime Minister for the third time running. But the Labour leader, Mr Neil Kinnock, wants to beat her and become Prime Minister himself. And so do the Alliance leaders, Mr Steele and Dr Owen. Well, the general election which will decide who will win is on the 11th of June, and that's exactly two weeks from today. And then we shall see. A zoo in Sussex was given a prize today for making a special effort to keep its beavers happy. Drusilla Zoo Park won the first ever Zoo Animal Welfare Award for its beaver enclosure in which the judges felt beavers could live as naturally as possible in captivity. The award was made by a charity known as U4, which aims to improve the well-being of animals. The beaver enclosure at Drusilla's is designed to give the animals plenty of freedom. There are pools and streams for lots of swimming. The idea is that they don't get bored and visitors get a good idea of how beavers live in the wild. There are trees to gnaw on, which provide sticks to add to their lodge and dam. It was the imaginative design that impressed the award judges, who want to make sure animals have plenty to do. There are only 16 beavers living in captivity in Britain. The pair at Drusilla's, Nasher a male and Noah a female, are four years old. It's hoped that they'll soon feel happy enough to start a family. And finally, hundreds of children in London have spent half-term playing hockey. There's been a lot of interest in the game since England did so well in last year's World Cup. Special training sessions have been held at play centres in the city to encourage more people to try it. And soon there should be similar schemes around the country. Helen Rollison reports. Just walk around, just walk around. Although hockey is a well-known sport, it's rare to see it being taught to under 11-year-olds in this country. Bram van Asselt is the first development officer to be appointed by the Hockey Association. Turning your stick. Over the ball. Have a go. Since last year's World Cup, interest in the sport has grown enormously. The support after the World Cup was great, but there's no facilities for youngsters at all. And so what I'm doing is I'm developing lots of schemes like this throughout the summer to give the kids the chance to play hockey. It's hoped that all existing hockey clubs will make room for junior teams, although at this stage the idea is for children to simply enjoy the game. These budding hockey players at the Knoll Park Play Centre in Wood Green, London, have mixed feelings. Sometimes you get hit with a hockey stick or you get injured a bit. Is it the kind of sport that you'll keep up with, though? No, because I like much better sports than this. You look as though you've enjoyed yourself here this morning. Yeah, I have. It's quite good to sport. What have you been impressed with? Um, dribbling and passing and everything. Oh, exciting, you lose a bit of weight for that. Yeah, sometimes I watch the ladies play. Hockey has been chosen by the Sports Council as one of the sports to be promoted at junior level. And there's no doubt at all, these 8 to 11 year olds are having a great half term because of it. That's all from Newsround for this week. John will be back again on Monday. From me for now, bye bye. <laughs>
It wasn't the fish that made your cat ill. It was chemicals. That poor little pussycat didn't look...